Hey what's up folks welcome back to the channel today we are going to look at some useful shortcuts that I believe every iPhone user must have in 2024. Now for this video I've selected some shortcuts that are actually very useful yet are very simple to use because there are a lot of shortcuts that are useful but will be complicated for most users. So we have some really simple ones that you probably will use on daily basis on your iPhone. So we are starting things with flashlight timer now this allows you to turn on the flashlight on your device but with the timer so if I just tap right here I can go ahead and choose here any of these minutes or I can type it right here to any exact number of minutes I want and if I just tap here it will turn on the flashlight of my device it will stay on for like five minutes so basically a timer for your flashlight remove background is the next one for the video it allows you to remove background from your photos, not just that, it also allows you to replace that background with something else. So run the shortcut and load the picture. So once you have loaded the picture that you want, it will also show you the photos library to load the new background for that picture. And you can see right here, of course, we have here the subject which we can move around on the photo. We can reset it, we can rotate it and also choose right here the transparency of the main subject of the photo once you're done you tap right here you tap right here you have the photo you can mark it up of course and you can also save it under your camera roll now you have changed the background of your photos the simple shortcut next up is qr code generator this is a very useful one it allows you to generate qr codes for images urls your wi-fi or any simple text that you want just simply add anything of these options right here you can generate a QR code as easy as that. So if I just go ahead and add something here, just a simple text, it will generate me a QR code, which of course I can save then under the camera roll of my device and use it to share anything I want. Translate screenshot is the next one for the video. Any screenshot that you take with your device, all you have to do is run the shortcut and load that screenshot now once you have done that it will translate the screenshot for you next now i had this ticket from skillbox it was in some different language it will of course translate it to english as easy as that so for any screenshots that you have taken of any text you can now go ahead and simply translate it as easy as that and you can also choose here to which language you want to actually translate so you tap the three dots you will have here so you tap the three dots you will have here detected language to english you tap right here and you can choose any of these languages charge time is another one that i really like it is a simple one yet it's super useful it shows you how much time your device will need to fully charge so it doesn't matter at which percentage of battery your device is whether it's charging or not you can just run the shortcut and right here it will show you that your device will actually need 44 minutes to charge to 100 percent in this case in my case here with 76 percent battery to charge to 100 percent so whenever you need to have your iphone fully charged you can know how long it will take next up we have a shortcut called search on now this search on once you run it you will be able to search on different platforms so you enter here any text you want search and once you have done that tap the dumb button and here all the different options you can google you can search on twitter on youtube etc etc some of the most popular platforms most useful ones you can do a search directly from here the next one for the video is called set volume now this one allows you to set the volume at any percentage you want quickly so all you have to do is tap on the three dots right here and choose the percentage of volume. So I have set it to this. I can change it right here. So at any time I want to set the volume to that certain percentage that I have chosen. All I have to do is just run the shortcut and you can see automatically it does set the volume. Last but not the least, we have the water eject. This shortcut allows you to eject water from your speakers. In case you have a knack for photography and videography, you put your phone inside the water 
and you take it out you don't get a proper reception from your speaker this is how you do it it's a very useful one try it out yourself this is all for today's video guys if you like what you see kindly hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching